talking about uh, fuel gauge issues uh, and uh, how do you how do you diagnose or what what the concern is with the fuel gauge? This is an older type uh, electrical fuel gauge uh, that you'll find in many many of the older vehicles. Uh, the newer ones use uh, electronically actuated gauges, but this is the dash unit right here. And uh, obviously the gauge doesn't read correctly. Sometimes it can read all the way full and never go down. And sometimes it can read empty all the time. And uh, once in a while someplace in between. And what you want to determine, first of all, is uh, whether or not you know you have gas in the tank. So you want to know, get an idea of how much fuel is in the tank. And in the tank is a sending unit that actually is a little float assembly and a, uh, and a rheostat type of arrangement there. And that the float actually floats up and down on the gasoline, has a little pointer that rubs on a coil and it has varying resistance and that varying amount of current goes up to this dash unit right here and it uh, interprets that signal and tells you the level of fuel that's, that's, in the, that's in the tank and usually it's the tank sending unit that goes bad because that's mechanical. Either the float develops a hole and starts to sink or that little contact that rubs on the, on the rheostat coil uh, wears out and sticks or the coil breaks and it sticks in one spot and you don't get a good reading so that that can cause that that particular issue another thing that we have on these gauges is what's called a constant voltage regulator if you have an oil pressure gauge or a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge and the gauge reads high all the time or reads low all the time it could be your instrument voltage regulator or constant voltage regulator which fits in behind there and what it actually does is takes the car system voltage and drops it down to about 5 volts instead of 12 volts so that if you get a fluctuation in voltage it's not going to cause the gauges to go up and down up and down and read all over the place newer cars use electronic fuel gauges so you, you have to use your scan tool and actually scan the computer and uh, look for uh, concerns with with the fuel gauge and a lot of times uh, there are updates or programs where you can actually reflash the computer to fix the fuel gauge so you can actually fix the fuel gauge electronically by reflashing the program you usually have to go back to the dealership because they have the software uh, for that type of operation and all they do is plug into the car's computer system and they can actually set it to reprogram itself.